All right, we're here in the Niner locker room with Colton McKivitz and uh, NFC Championship game, one step from the Super Bowl, and um, Aiden Hutchinson plays hard, and you're probably going to draw most of that attention. What does he look like on film to you? And, and I've heard from the Detroit people that he plays so hard that he gets the rest of that line to play at his speed. Do you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Um, he's a lot like Max. Um, you know, obviously, Crosby's a different animal. Um, just with his effort, I think, uh, you know, Aiden tries to emulate that. And obviously the spin move, too, that's kind of his calling card he's starting to get. So, um, you know, it's going to be a good challenge to staying inside out on him. And then he's able to press, you know, he likes the bull rush and the edge, too. So um, he's a good player. Um, and obviously they're playing really well right now with a lot of confidence. So, you know, they're going to force us to, to throw the ball at those eight-man boxes and they're going to bring pressure on third down. So it a good uh, challenge. What was it like having Debo back in practice today? It was good. He had a blue jersey on, but uh, he also he looked a little bigger in it. But uh, you know, anytime he goes out there, uh, it's a good day. All right, uh, you guys went to the to the House of Prime Rib. I saw some of the video. All right, who who was the MVP at the House of Prime Rib? I mean, who is <laughs> who, <laughs> who is get, who is getting the most done at the House of Prime Rib? Uh, it's probably self suck, but I usually eat the most prime rib when we go there. Okay, uh, large and two medium, so it's. Uh, yeah, I eat the cream of corn is the winner, and that's that's a big one. But did you good. bring a significant? Was it a plus yeah, one yeah, situation? Yeah, we, we encourage significant others, and then um, you know we all vote on uh, an extra position group um, to bring. This is the third time in the history of the dinner that we've had quarterbacks there, so uh, it's a pretty big deal to have, have them there. Okay, so last week you were telling me that your pregame meal is buttered noodles mm-hmm. and two steaks. So we played the video on YouTube. That's like 75 comments. What's his cut? Why didn't you ask him what his cut was, Krug? You're deficient. No, they do flamings. Usually I'm a ribeye guy. Ribeye. Okay. I was thinking porterhouse. I'm like, well, uh-uh. my guess is porterhouse for the big man. The fat, you rented the fat down. It's good. Okay. But two, huh? Oh, yeah. Two. A heavily seasoned or what? what's your, what are you going? Salt, Garlic, a little salt, butter? Salt and pepper and then you base it in the skillet. It's good. There you go. There you go. Um, this, this, what do you think of Dan Campbell? I mean, Campbell just seems like he would be such a cool guy to hang out with. What do you, what do you, what do you think of Campbell when you hear him talk? Uh, just, you know, I think your typical, you know, holistic, just football guy. It's old school, you know, knee biter, all that kind of stuff. Um, just, you know, I think he's what he played, and uh, he has that mindset of, you know, being physical playing fast and I think that's uh, what he's emulated through his defense and his offense and, and they kind of got that brand where um, you know they want to be you know have the same style of football as we do it's physical fast running around and, and then running the ball so uh, yeah he'd be a great guy to hang out with I'm sure uh, he won't be on Sunday though yeah yeah last one for you um, the feeling last year I was talking to Demo a couple weeks ago and he's like the feeling that we felt getting on that plane coming back from Philly is the reason we're not going to lose. And that was Timo's thought. What was that feeling like? And has that been a, a singular motivator to get back to this point and finish the deal? Um, I don't know if it's been a singular motivator. I think, you know, we all, everyone has different motivations for, for making it to the NFC Championship game. And again, you know, three years in a row now for me and, and a lot of these guys. And, you know, it's four out of five for some guys. So, um, you know, I think it's just, you know, you realize how hard it is to get back to this point and then just the motivation every year is to win a Super Bowl. And um, the fact that we're here again is a terrible feeling. <laughs> I mean, to have it ripped out like that, and obviously, you know, we didn't we didn't have really a chance in that one. But, you know, 21 was the same way, leading with 10 minutes left, and, and that goes down. So, um, you just realize how hard it is, how long the season is when you get to this point. When you don't make it, um, it just makes it that much harder the next year. So, um, the fact we're here again is just – it's what we expected, and, you know, we're expecting to get uh, an extra two weeks. Hey, thanks, man. Good luck again yeah. to Hutchinson Saturday night, man. Yeah. Well, just it, to clarify, your 